sweet spirits will even get even sweeter if we will just allow the precious presence of the Holy Spirit to fill our lives and our hearts and uh, give us a different spirit. Because yes. sometimes we, uh, uh, you know, we wake up grumpy. Uh, you know, but you know, Angie's got to get out of the bed sometime. <laughs> she sends her love. Uh, she's not with us this morning. She is evangelizing elsewhere. Our youngest is leading uh, worship fully for the first time and uh, is going to share his testimony uh, at Transformational Church there. And we're excited that God's using his gifts and talents. And uh, uh, so we praise the Lord. You know, Myrtle Grove has a rich history of raising folks up and sending them out. Amen? Amen. Amen. And that's the way that it's supposed to be. Glory to God. Now, I'm glad that you're here and that you're not out. But we're called, you know, we're called to raise up uh, and to send out for ministry. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we're so grateful and thankful for the sweet, sweet presence of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for the Spirit of God that gives us hope. Amen. That redeems our life, that fills our hearts and minds, that reminds us of your word. Yes, Lord. That sends correction when correction is needed. Amen. That sparks our mind with truth as we read and study your word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that nudges us to share the love yes, and grace of Jesus Christ. And we're grateful for the Holy Spirit who works in other people's lives. Thank you, Jesus. That brings them to a saving knowledge that Jesus is the Lord Amen. of all. Speak to us this day and guide our steps as a congregation for we ask all in the precious name of our Lord who taught us to pray. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Remain standing as we
almost had to run. And I realized I was in a Methodist church. <laughs> that's funny right there. I don't care who you are, that's funny. <laughs> Amen. What's next? The Apostles' Creed. Sorry that you don't have a bulletin uh, this morning. I'll explain that later. Uh, but we just thought uh, we probably could make it without one. I think we would. Uh, uh, we up here. We, that's right. We can do all things through Christ who doesn't give us a bulletin. Uh, amen. Let us join together in this historic confession of our Christian faith. I believe in God's Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day He rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life. Amen. to the conference. <laughs> That's better than a transfer. Yeah, it is. So welcome to our family. We're so glad that you're here with us uh, today. Uh, prayer request. I uh, want to continue to remember, uh, remember Randy Thurston. Nancy is here this morning. Nancy, would you stand and give us a little update on how Randy is doing? Well, he's still unsteady on his feet. His... Um Cognitive is, so he still had trouble walking. That's his heart. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Continue to pray. Yeah. Yes. Amen. The good news in that is he's still with us. Amen. Amen. And the good news is we'll pray that his... Did, did he ever think straight to begin with? I was just trying to figure out. But it, 
is cognitive. He, he used to think straight. He used to think straight, all right. Well, uh, he had some seizures, very serious. Uh, and Randy uh, is um, struggling to get back to where he was before those seizures. Uh, as I talked with T. Sims, T. Sims had a stroke a long time ago. He's had a few many strokes in between then, and T. is still struggling to try to get back to where he was. But he's doing better uh, each and every day, and that's what we pray for Randy, that he makes improvements uh, each and every day. Pray please for Irene. Please. Yes, please, we all. Please. I really want to thank everyone who did pray. Yes. You know, I honestly believe that's what, what God is through this. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let's uh, pray for our youth as they travel from Blue Lake this evening. Uh, here that they have uh, lit, uh, spoke with Jonathan and said they're just having a, a wonderful time at youth, youth camp at Blue Lake over the weekend. I uh, want to uh, remember the Johnson family uh, as well. Uh, Cheryl's sister-in-law had passed away, and she'll be leaving. Cheryl, would you? treatment plans and, and yes, uh, for recovery. Yes, his kidneys, okay. Uh, we'll continue to lift him up in prayer. Tina? Um, I have prayer, prayer. If you would stand up, we can hear you. I have prayer for my uh, best friend, Barb. Uh, she's been, um, she's had chemo and radiation for uh, rectal cancer and had to stop the radiation. And she's in the hospital from following. Uh, when she fell, well, we got a good report. The cancer apparently is gone. No more chemo and no more radiation. So we have to communicate that the cancer is gone. So keep a close eye on her. But when she fell, which is why she's taken her to the hospital, after about five days, they found out that she broke her leg. And then when she came home uh, the hospital, she'd been on bed rest and everything. And then she was having such severe pains in her back and spasms. Well, she had a um, scan on Friday. You know, on Wednesday, and uh, she had the compression fracture to her back in the mm -hmm. L1. So, you know, she, she needs about the first. They're going to have to end up probably doing uh, surgery on it. Okay, yeah, good. We'll pray. We'll pray for her and pray that she's in the right, going in the right direction. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah. Yes, Chuck, in the back quickly. Uh, prayers for R.C. Miller. He works in the booth. Right. Uh, he's continuing sick off and on. He's not feeling well today at all. Yes. That is correct. Thank you for reminding us of that. Mike is is struggling, has been for some time. If you would continue to remember uh, Mike and his family, the Reynolds family, and, and, and their extended family in your prayers. Yes, John. Grady and his wife. Grady and Maxine and Bill Brown and many, many others uh, lift up in prayer. What? One in the back, quickly, yes. Um, for my great grandma Black, she needs to go down there. She's in a nursing home somewhere right now. And I just want to know if we can send that out and help you know about the family gathering. Okay, good deal. Pray for his grandmother. And her name is? Well, I didn't know my grandma's first name for a lot of 
And when I found out it was Merle, I could say, well, I understand why she kept that a secret. <laughs> Good but anyway, yes. Yes, quickly, sir. Uh, prayers for men. He spoke in a certain direction. And prayers for Brenda's on the Lord. Brenda and Glenn will be in prayer. Yes, quickly. Yes, ma'am. Your fish passed away. Oh. That is so sad. I mean, we'll pray that uh, uh, fit with the fish in heaven. Sure. Well, we got to end on that one. Yeah. Let's, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you that you care enough that, Lord, as a church family, we can come together and we can share our burdens, lay them at the foot of the cross, and are confident that you hear and listen and that your grace will meet each and every need. We thank you, Lord, that you respond and you meet our need when we, when we lift up those who have gone on to be with the Lord and the family members who will mourn their passing. For those that's going through chemotherapy treatments or in the hospital or recovering from surgeries or or just have to make difficult decisions about important life choices. We thank you, Lord, for those prayers that we even lift up for our pets whom you've given to us. Uh, we thank you that, God, you're, you're such a loving and caring God that we can bring all these requests to you and know that you listen and that you will respond. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Invite our ushers if they come forward at this time. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we're we ask your blessing upon the offering that we are about to receive. Bless both, Lord, the gift and the giver, so that these gifts can be used, so that your kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.